Hey guys, RC here, back with the next episode of Let's Play Draft Day Sports College Football. We are playing as the Oklahoma Sooners, and we are attempting to recreate the wishbone triple option uh, offense from the glory days of the Sooners in the 70s and early 80s, uh, early to mid 80s. And so, as I mentioned uh, at the end of last video, I was going to come back, I was going to tweak this. So what I did is I just auto-set, which naturally changed everything. Boy, that really needs to have those lock options put in here, guys. Because um, it changed everything. Uh, luckily, I took a screenshot of this, so I was able to come back and recreate all of our playbooks and our numbers that we had previously. So that has not changed. Uh, our defense has, oh, I do want to go to our fast tempo again. I forgot to check that. And what I did in the playbook, I just went into the option spread. And you'll notice what you have to do here is, let's say you want to change the, the weighting here. So I have a seven weight. You actually have to delete. You highlight the play. You delete it. It puts it back into the play play menu. You reselect it, put in the new weight, and then add it. So you'll notice down here, and it, and it puts it in at the bottom. So all I did is I reset two, the wishbone and the pro set fullback dives. I upped that one from an 8 to a 10, and that one from a 7 to a 10. And we'll see if that gets our fullback a few more carries. Um... I don't really see anything else in our playbook that gets our fullbacks anything. And what it may be is we're going to have to actually delete some of these other plays. Um, and that'll be the next thing that we'll try to do. So like uh, the shotgun boot, we may ditch that. Um, I don't want to, I can't get rid of any of the passes because you have to have at least three um, but I might get rid of some of these, uh, unless they're pass plays, I might get rid of some of the, uh, some of the other running plays, uh, out of the shotgun or the spread, even though they get, you know, like the, the sprints, maybe that's what we get rid of. Um, you know, and that frees up some more possibility for, for our other plays to get called, um. So anyway, once you do that, you, you just save it and you're good to go. So let's get back in. Um, I've already, I had already done the roster. I did the I did the playbook here. So let's pop in and look at recruiting. Oh, did we look at the uh, emails? I don't remember. We must have because I deleted them. <laughs> okay, well, I hope we saw them. If we didn't, it's my fault. I'll take the heat for it. All right, so Clemson's on this guy now. Prestige, close to home. Well, he's out of Washington. So he has to come through Oklahoma to get to Clemson, South Carolina. So that should benefit us. Market size, that's going to be Big 12 or ACC, probably a wash. Security and loyalty, basically that's how long you've been on him and how consistent. I think we'll have a slight edge uh, because we were on him a week before. Yeah, so now, again, they... That's the guy we put eight points the first week, and now we've got him maxed out. Uh, Torres, again, Clemson's on him, close to home, and he's in North Carolina. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and revoke that. And because his interest went way down, and we'll hide him. And then we will. Come to our not recruiting. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop down to, say, number 200. 
I don't really need another running back. I wouldn't mind the other another center, I don't think. I'm a big believer in defensive linemen. And you know what? I only signed one quarterback, so I'm going to recruit this guy just to see what what his ratings are. You know, if he signs and he's no good, I'll, I'll probably cut him. But, you know, because I'm still looking for the right guy to run my offense, I probably can't sign too many of them. You know what I'm saying? All right, so 15... 17, 17, and 16, but actually I want to, I'm going to cut this guy to 15, and then raise him up to 18, that way I get a better look at my quarterback, all right. So we got our doors blown off by Texas Tech, who's undefeated, number two in the nation. I don't think we're even ranked anymore, are we? No. So we've fallen out of the polls. That's uh, disheartening. I mean, you know, seven and three, and we're behind seven and four Indiana. Come on, man. And Missouri? Come on. All right, well, is what it is, I suppose. This reminds me of the uh, the old Heinz ketchup commercial when I was a kid, you know, anticipation. <laughs> you could probably YouTube that if you're interested. You're not missing a whole lot. But it is still the only ketchup I'll, I'll use to this day. All right, let's get to uh, home and see what happened. And we got our doors blown off again. And man, we are we're four and four in the conference. All four of our losses in conference. Kansas State, TCU, Texas Tech, and Texas. Wow. So that's not good. Not good at all. All right, that cornerback that we dropped off on went to Florida State instead of Clemson, so Florida State jumped on him. Interesting. We picked up Elam and Menendez, so we picked up a linebacker. That's awesome. And now we can go in and we can look at that quarterback. All right, we're still tops on that center. Here's the quarterback. So he is a dual threat. Clemson's gotten on him. Remarkable speed, remarkable agility, exceptional arm, exceptional accuracy. Intelligence is only acceptable. Where is he from? I can't see the state. Washington High School. I'm not sure. Ohio. Okay. So let's look at that again. Close to home's not a concern. And we're not helping ourselves with winning. Although, keep in mind, that winning is not just this year. It's over the course of seasons. So, 
that's going to be a toss-up. Now, Clemson's 9-2, and two, so they may have the edge on us there. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we'll keep after this guy. I mean, I'd like to land him just to where I have a, a, an actual dual-threat quarterback uh, to consider using. Yeah, their scouting is pretty high, so I'm not going to do anything this week, and I believe we're off this week, so let's go ahead and sim this week. Really nothing to do as far as roster and game plan with us being off. Very troubling that we've lost uh, four games there. Alright, so this week is rivalry week. All right, so we, we did pick him up. He did sign with us, so that's good. Um, I'm glad to get him. He, he may or may not turn out to be anything for us uh, because we did get that other quarterback that has good speed and agility. But I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like having that to play with just to actually throw a dual-threat quarterback into the mix there. Uh, I think will be interesting to be able to play with. All right, so we finish off with Oklahoma State, a road trip. We've lost two games in a row at home. Uh, all right, so roster, depth. Oh, you know what I did not look at? Come on, guys, y'all are supposed to keep me in line here. Alright. I mean, we, uh, no, we got dominated in yardage. I told you I'm Texas in literally every other league I'm in, so <laughs> I immediately looked at that. Alright, 20 passes, 45 runs, so definitely more than 2 to 1, so that's, that's good, but... 2.1 yards a carry. That's that's killer. Bad game for Fullerton. 24 for Smith. 18 for Fullerton. Again, if we had a quarterback that could gain yardage, I think that would make a big difference. I'm playing Fullerton just to have some consistency. Uh, I may change that here. I may go back because I don't know that that other guy was any good. Uh, Benoit and Hinkle. All right, Benoit's the running back, second running back. Hinkle's the fullback. So we only got one fullback run, even though we dialed them up. Um, hmm. Just trying to think of what we can do there. Let's come back in here. All right, I'm going to, well. I don't want to delete too many quarterback runs because, honestly, if you get a good quarterback, that's going to help out. But I think I'm going to keep the ones out of the spread. I'm going to delete the quarterback boot. I 
I need to keep the passing plays in there. Are there any other fullback runs? That's kind of what I'm looking for here. Fullback. I think we put them all in there, guys, when I do when I did this playbook. Because it'll t it'll tell you that it's the fullback if if it's fullback specific. Yeah, I mean we've got literally every fullback play that's available in the game in here right now. So we've got one two. And that may be it. I'm really surprised they don't have a like a fullback off tackle, you know, whatever, that they've all got to be dives. So the only other thing that I could do All right, wishbone option left. Wishbone option right. We'll dial those back from a 10 to a six. And spread option left and right. We'll dial those back to a six. Spread, option right. So we'll dial back the running backs a little bit. There's just a lot more of them, you know. Uh, let me save that. Let's go take a quick look at our roster and Fullerton game logs. That's passing. All right, why why can I not why can I not see you're running here, dude? So we had taken him out for these three games. The other guy struggled immensely. And I wanted to keep him in just for baseline purposes. All right, so 99. Well, I mean, that's, that's 11 carries a game. All right, what I think I'm going to try to do is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and finish the season. But I have a post up over at Wolverine, so I want to find that post. Or it may have been a private message, but basically I spelled out based on some research that I'd done on exactly how many plays each position had. So Honestly, right now, short of, there's no way to increase running the fullback carry. The only way I can see to do that 
is when you go into the playbook is literally you're going to have to have you're going to have to figure out what percentage of plays you want run by the fullback and we're going to have to have that maxed out at a 10 weight right and then you're going to have to take everything else and you're going to have to weight them as a maybe a one two or three at most uh, and see what that does that would have to be the next test to run and see if that gives more running plays to the fullback and takes away from the running back and then quarterback I think we're about where we want to be so we keep those plays weighted where they are and that way those are not necessarily affected and if they are it won't be very much so those are all basically five six and seven weights so we need to cut down the the six and seven weightings for the running back down to lower numbers to where those plays get called less often oh man this is really complicated i mean I, honestly i mean it, you know I, I still think we can do this and we can get some semblance of what we're trying to accomplish but it's really it's really taken a lot of work and probably a lot more work than most people are willing to spend um in a game uh honestly um you know because most people just want to be able to plug and play and and this is really really <laughs> uh pulling so i mean we've tried we've tried the default playbooks now we're into the custom playbooks we've tried the option settings uh we've tried checking the quarterback uh to be a run a run threat um yeah i just uh i'm just not sure what else to do the the last idea would be that i can think of from from sitting here and trying to trying to think through what we've done already and what we can still possibly do i really think coming into the playbook and taking all of these options and all the running plays for running backs and dropping those from sevens down to I'd say maybe a four or even less um, but I think to figure out what that's gonna have to be a mathematical process not my strong suit uh, I'm not ashamed to say but if we can go in and look at the end of the season here all right so 252 carries in 11 games all right so he's averaging 23 carries a game not astronomical but you know but if we add up all the running backs all right Newsom is a running back Ben was a running back Hinkle's a fullback all right so Hinkle and Cuevas see he's only got 32 carries so he's only averaging three carries a game but what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to figure out all right he's averaging about 11 carries or so a game now actually a little more than that let's see 99 divided by 8 12.4 carries a game and that may be where we want him to be so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish out the season we'll get the final statistics and we'll come back and we'll spend the next video not really in the game itself more looking at the stats I'll try to find that that post that I made with the breakdown of the spread ratio for Oklahoma in real life with Jamel Holloway and that cast of characters compared to what we're seeing here and then we can start trying to maybe formulate an, a plan to 
on on how to further tweak um oh you know what the position was right here duh <laughs> um and formulate how to maybe how to tweak that playbook a little bit more um so let me put a cut in here guys um I'm going to give it a thought, some thought here for a little while. I'm going to finish the season, like I said. And then we'll come back and we'll just mainly, we'll, we'll review that. But mainly I want to get into these numbers and, and the, the other numbers that we were talking about. And then kind of see what we can do from that point. And then at that point, you know, then I've got to decide, do I want to do another season of this? Or do I want to start uh, just an actual let's play career and go that route? Um because I'll be honest, this is kind of draining on me. Uh, I'm enjoying it, but, you know, this has been two two years, two seasons worth of really trying to number crunch and, and tweak rather than playing and having fun. So um, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We've got at least one more video. So uh, anyway, thanks for checking it out as always. Uh, again, if you've got any thoughts or ideas, put them down in the comments below. And let's try to come up with a really good game plan for everybody that wants to play this type of offense that they can use to be viable. Thanks again. Take care, guys. See you next time.